All right, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera. Um, Doug is outside the house working, and we are on air. Um, what I'm going to do today is I got the other side is opened up. I got the fuel cell in the back. I have to, or I don't know if I have to or not, but I'm making it so I um, can put the fuel cell in the back of this position in here, and I'm going to make it so it's closed off. We'll come around to the other side. Um, we've got... We've got, the, uh, we've got one side of it put in. As you can see, uh, me and Jolene made that panel this morning. She helped me roll it through. Uh, we tacked it on there. I put a piece of square stock up to the center, down to the center. A uh, piece of square stock on the edge of this piece right here. This piece was already in there. We've got a piece there. Now what I'm going to do is, this is the fuel cell that was sitting in the back there. We have our fuel cell brackets sitting over there on the other side of the truck poo-poo. Um, but what is going on right now is the door that I've got there, I haft it up. I can get this inside there and twist it around and get it put in place. But what I want to do is I want to make a door so I can get at the fuel cell anytime I want to. I can't just lock it out there and never get to it anymore. So basically I have to make a doorway to get to it. And uh, here we go. Let's do it. See if we can get it done within the time. Um, what I'm going to do is first, it'd be just like the doors on the other side. I can get my feet up, just like the door on the other side. I put the spacers in the corner. We'll pluck the spacers on. And uh, what I mean by the spacers is these little corner tabs. They're just a 3 16 angle arm. I'm just going to stick them in the corner like that, like a so. And then that's going to be my spacer for uh, the square stock that I'm going to put in there to make my door. Let's do it. Let's do it. Thanks for coming back, everybody. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Jolene does too. Jolene, <laughs> me too, Doug says. Jolene woke up this morning at 7.30, looking like a 10. Awesome. She's my lady. Just gonna tack that on there. I saved these from, uh, from the other side when I made the door on the other side. Just gonna clean them off and uh, cap them. You just don't wanna get any of the weld on the top of the angle iron. What I mean by on top, if I get the weld on the top of the angle iron, then that means that's my, my square stock is not gonna sit right. Um, this one up here is gonna be a little bit different. Hmm. Huh. We've got a round part going on here. And as you can tell, I can't, I can't hinge it on this side because if I swing it open, this part here is going to hit the roof. I'm going to have to hinge it on this side. It's going to have to swing over this way uh, because this is going down this way. This will go underneath this part. Then I'll be able to get that fuel cell in there, brackets on, see what happens. This one here is going to be good for there, I think. that in there in place. Don't want to get the weld on the top. On this one here, it's not going to work. And the reason being is that goes down like that. So, uh, what am I going to do? I'm going to eye it up is what I'm going to do. I'm going to eye it up. I've got one piece right here, ready to rock and roll. Get out. Joins able to turn that welder off there. That'd be fantastic. It is a half difficult area to work right here, but to be honest with you, it has it has to be done. And who better to do it than me? As you can see, I'm going to mark it like that. Doug sometimes sounds like a peacock. Yeah, he's got he's got a little bit of peacock in him. I, I marked that right to the top. Of that I want three sixteenths gap all the way around, just because it right. I marked that at the top from the backside. 
I got a nice gap going on there. I've got a nice gap going all the way up. Marked it all the way there. Now I have to do is just take that mark and go down 3 16 and hopefully it's what I need. I'm gonna cut this one. I want to see if I can get this done within our time, and I'll be and I'll be happy. make that straighter. I gotta cut a little bit off. Turn the welder on there, sweetheart, Stephen, thank you. You're the best. You're the best. Nice little gap going on there. It's going to bring it out to the face of what's going on. I want to nail it on so I can cut it off. The easiest. That's what I want to do. I'll nail it on so I can cut it off the easiest. Turned on me a little bit. Just going to clamp these on. Just want to turn it. I'm going to leave that like that. I'm going to leave that like that. I'm going to come out. No, I need it. Hmm. Where did I put it? That's too bad. I would like to have that measuring tape. I must have took that somewhere. Did you see it anywhere, sweetheart? You didn't touch my measuring tape, did you? No, she did not. All this little stuff that have to, has to be done, um, has to be done. Yeah. Could not do this before the truck was built. I did not know even know where the gas tank was going, so. 28. 28. And that's the truth. I did not know where the gas tank was going when I started building this truck. Did not, did not even know what I was going to use for a gas tank. So basically that just tells you that I'm building it day by day and then I deal with it as I get to it. Sometimes it's hard to, it's really hard to um, say what you're going to do the next day until you get there, you know. So I try not to overstress something until it comes. down there. Jolene the Queen is going to help me. Thank you very much. Multi-talented, beautiful lady. I can throw that end away and keep that.
seen on the on Facebook, I think it was. I'm not sure. I see Joe, Joe Sousa using a little bit of Bad Chad Flexible Chrome. That was good to see. I'm hoping that he had fun with it. Um, it's, it's, you know, it is what it is. It's, it's something that can put a little bit of chrome in your life and uh, without costing you, without breaking the bank, basically. Without breaking the bank. And uh, if you can do that, it's always fun to make something without breaking the bank. want to get it in the right place. I want to get it so I can cut it off easy. Good. Now we need two pieces. We'll do one at a time obviously. Maybe I can get both measurements going here. This is where these go along here. My head's gonna be soft by the time I get out of here and get all this sort of stuff done. But these go on here like so. These go on there in the back. They're just two studs welded there. It goes over top of that, bolts down. Uh, the door's gonna come open, so I'll be able to get the nut on that one. This one over here on this side, not sure exactly what's going on yet, but I'm gonna to have to do a little bit of work to figure out how to, I should be able to get it there and get that up on and, and uh, deal with it. I should be able to. I cannot put my square stock, I got my, my bolt or my knot going on here and my stud right here for the strap. So I'm gonna bring uh, the piece going across, we'll just bring it above it and let the metal go down by it to close it off. And the length of the piece of metal I need is 23 quarter cut the line. 23 quarter cut the line. Can you remember that sweetheart? 23 quarter. And this one up here is going to have to be bent. So I'm going to have, I'll do that one first. 23 quarter. I'm going to plug my zip cut over here. Nope, I'm going to steal this right here. Remember, I got a little bit of time to get this done, so that's why I'm kind of rushing around. I'm not Russian, I'm Canadian, but you know what I'm trying to tell you. 23 quarter, baby? Yeah. Now, turn that back on. I do have a square up there. Hopefully I can get it. Yeah. Hope it's above that. And put this on there. Gonna turn that piece a little bit. Probably gonna fall off, but I gotta turn it. And it did. Well, it didn't fall off, but. Oh, that one. That's all that did. Mm. I don't like that. trying to twist this piece, it's kind of twisted down here. I just have to hold this one. Nope. Get down here for there. I'm gonna end up breaking it off if I don't just go for it.
All right, we're on there. Just gonna tack it on. Putting the welder exactly where I need it. Closing my eyes, pull the trigger. We'll weld it up once we get it out of here. Good. Tack on there, tack on there. Now we have to make that top piece. I think we have company. Nina's going off. We'll make it 22. Make it a little bit long that way there. I have something to play with. Want that shape. Let's hit a little bit more. We'll get it on the piece of wood over here and put the walkie talkie to her. I mean, the hammer rammer to her. Yes, and the hinges that I cut off uh, the other day for the doors that I messed up, save them for the other side. Maybe pull that in a little bit. If you have not got a piece of wood with a hoe out in the center, it's a good tool for it to go make. See, there was a comment on there the other day. It makes me laugh to myself. He said, I've been doing body work for 30 years and I've never had to bang a piece of pipe on the ground. You've never built anything then. <laughs> You've never built anything then, has he, Doug? Yeah, great thing. You <laughs> You've never built anything. Make me laugh. Yeah, been doing it for 30 years and never had to bang a piece of pipe on the ground. Wow. Yeah, I'll just replace the parts now. You got it. Just replacing parts, huh? There you go, Doug. Yeah, I was gonna set that down. Put that up in there like so. We're gonna get a mark on the other side. Lost my cover. That's the mark that I want. And that's the mark I'm gonna cut. There's some pretty funny comments on there sometimes. Some pretty funny comments. Take a look 
here for it. Just gonna knock this off a little bit. you are Joey. Absolutely gorgeous. Doug the peacock. We've actually got a door in there now. And I have to bring that down a little bit. I want that to swing underneath this piece. I want that, when that swings, I want that to come underneath there. And it's not gonna miss it by much, but it is gonna miss it. All right, I'm gonna put a full sheet of metal. Um, thanks, sweetheart. Actually, I'm gonna turn that back for a second. I just wanna put one on here before I cut it off. Just to make sure. I can put the center piece in when I cut it off. Bum, 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 bum. We're down there. We can bring our piece of metal down, but we want the bottom of this square stock is going to end here, and the metal is going to go down on the face of that. So we should be fine there. I can't take the square stock down. If I put it down here, I'm going to hit that, the stud. We've got visitors nonstop today. Let's do this. Uh, let's do this. We'll get that. We'll get that door cut off. We'll get a piece of metal cut for it. So we'll have to. It's gonna be hinged on this side, so this swings out. Let's cut it off. Building it that way, I just know that it's going to fit. If I build it on the floor by doing measurements, I don't know if it's going to fit exactly or not. I really don't. Um, sometimes it just, it just goes that way. So I'm going to... Couple things to move here. Hard go sometimes. Let's move this down. Grab that helmet. Alrighty, I'm gonna bust some welds on these bad boys to hold this thing together tight and right. I'm going to move around to each one to try to keep, like I don't want to wall up just continuously on that corner. Could start moving things around. It does move it around anyways, but I'll just keep going around from corner to corner to corner, trying to keep the heat down the best I can.
The ground is on the truck. I'm just leaning this up against the truck. It gives me my ground. Fantastic gesture by Jimbo the other day, giving us that camper, or that whatever it's called. We do the old give and take sometimes, you know. And that's a good thing, that we can do that, give and take. Some people can, some people can't. Some people always has to win, and some people, you know. Uh, basically, um, for me, uh, if someone needs something, um, I'm more than willing to help them out on that situation if they need it. If they're trying to take advantage, I shut down. <laughs> um, uh, me and Jimbo are not that way. I do not try to take advantage of him and he does not try to take advantage of me. Keeps for good friends. One second leg. Shit, I'm sorry. I don't want to hit them sexy legs. Alrighty, we should put a piece in the center, and the reason being is it's a big piece of metal to put on, just put on like that. It's, it really is, so I like to put a piece across the center just to tighten it up a little bit. And that's what we, what we will do. I'll just use this so I can get it in there square. Uh, we'll take and Put that right there, like so. I'm not going to do any measuring, just going to put it across there and trace it. Cuts down on any mistakes for me. Did I just break that? So let's go like this. Bad boy off. Plug it in first. Using the grinder just up like candy, they're absolutely awesome. His name is John. Right? Jamie? Thanks, Jamie. I appreciate it. He knew I'd use them. I think that's why they came this way. He knew I'd use them. Alrighty. I'm not going to measure the center of that. 
No need. I'm going to pluck it in there and eye it up. It looks good there. I'm just going to eye it up. And the reason being is, it's because I'm allowed. Just tack it there. We'll put our square in so she's. C-clamp, hold it straight. Beautiful. Now, what I'm looking at, as I had, as I put that center piece in there, I have, I'm going to do probably two bead rolls on it. And the reason being is, you can see this here, how this is, how that's bead rolled in there. It's sunk in there. Well, if I go to lay a bead rolled piece of metal on there, it can't sink in past that, if you know what I'm trying to, what I'm trying to say. Uh, it's not going to. It's not going to work. I could cut it, I suppose, and, and drop it down some so it sits in there flush. Or I could do a, a beat, do a square up here, and I could do a square down there and then set it on. Let's cut out a piece of metal and see what we're going to do. Not sure what we're going to do yet. Just put the piece in the center for a little bit of help. I probably could have put it up a little bit further, but it does not matter. Doesn't matter. This is the pattern that I used to make the other side. I want to check it out and just see if it's even close. Look at that, would you? So what I did is I cut that in half. Look at that. Wow. But I have my pattern right here, so that's what I'm going to use. I would not um, use the paper pattern because the pattern's right here. Now there was another comment that came in I seen. Well, why wouldn't you use the metal that you cut out of the hole and to put on the door or the toolboxes, the piece of metal I cut out of the hole, why would I not use that metal to put on the doors of the toolbox? Well, if you do if you take a look, you see where it's see where it's welded together there? That means there was a sheet of metal that went down there and was not welded together because it went over the toolbox. So when I cut it open, I had eight inches of strip here that fell away and then I had an eight inch piece here that was short that fell away so it would not fit the door if you come over this one then you see I got a four inch piece that I would have cut because it's well together there four inch piece would have fell away because I didn't weld it all together down there would have fell away then would have made this piece too small it's easy to judge when you do not have to think remember that 
So easy to judge when you don't have to think. You don't have to remember if you don't want to, but it's the truth. This piece going here. So, if you want to come take a look at me draw this line on here. I will cut that line with the grinder. I'll cut that off because I want, I want to go on the inside of that line to get that metal in on that round of that round stock. If you know what I'm trying to tell you. That cuts it off a bit shy, doesn't it, on that door. I'm going to leave it that way. What I'm saying is this is on top of that square stock that I have running along, remember? You can remember it's three quarters of an inch. I'm gonna leave it like that. A zip cut. I need a zip cut. How you making out, Douglas? Great. Great? Great. Awesome. Love it. Sure. Putting a little juice pack in you, are you? Juice well, maybe after I, I do this cut in here and get this rock and roll and get this going, I might. Well, I, is it? It's warm up here. Nova Scotia is getting record amounts of rain. Kind of wondering if it's got to do with all the heat that America's getting, you know? It's so hot down there. It's driving moisture up here, I'm not sure. I'm gonna cut this out. Now, in order for to get this piece of metal, like it's a, it's a thing because in order to get this piece of metal in here on that round part so it does not go beyond, I wanna cut inside that black line. And it's a good thing to try to make yourself remember that because it works. Rise up, rise up. Did I bring over another disc or a disc? I just got silly and used one disc. See you know where they're at? No, they're on the they're in the on the truck. See them? Thank you, sweetheart. My multi-talented, caramel-legged, tanned ten.
stop it, get on there. What are we at for time? Oh, we're doing good, aren't we? Oh, we're flying, we're cooking. cooking. Yeah, so you're this way. Um, if um, stop it, stop it. I'm just wondering if I can do, if I can get that. It should be enough. We can do two. Just stick with me here for a second. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to put this on in place. I guess it's in place somewhat. Uh, guess that one doesn't matter down the side, doesn't matter. It's these ones that matter. So I went from there. Now, I have to figure out um, when I put, I want to make it the same as the rest of them. That's not on the face. So this, 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 this is what I'm gonna do. Do this. That goes there. That goes there. Goes there. And I'll transfer that to the other side. Find out where it was, that's all. Get her square going. I was using tape there for a while. Jolene's a smart not use that ruler, so that's what I did. Draw a line across here. Line across here. And we'll draw a line across here. So that's, that's where the square stock is. Now I'm making my, where I'm gonna do my bead roll. Lay up side edge. Let's do the whole distance. Like that. This is my square stock on the other side. Fly on my ear. You have to go. And then we'll do the top with tape. Let's do this. Joanne's gonna help me bead roll this. Just gonna take the tape and touch each corner, try to make the same distance this way and that way, just so it looks good. The only person that'll be in there to see it is the person that's changing the gas tank or messing with it. And uh, he's not gonna be checking out the bead rolling. He's gonna be pissed off because it's so small in there and he can't move. <laughs> I'm hoping that we get enough room for the bead roller to do its job. And what I mean by do its job is I hope I can get two squares on this bad boy. And the only reason I'm doing two squares in this bad boy is because of that center bar. I can't bead roll like I was before. Um, do this. Alrighty. 
this is the side that's right on. That's what we have to do, I'm pretty sure. If not, we'll soon find it. Are you ready, my sweetheart? Okay. Oh, Doug's all sweeping up and everything, doing a good job. Thank you, Doug. Thank you. All righty. Wait for my Queen Jolene. Hopefully I can get that. If not, I just made him, I might have made a mess. Hmm. I don't know if I can get that in through there. It don't look like it. But we'll see. If not, I'll fix it. Yep. Go slow. Oh, just a second. Go ahead. We got lucky. Huh? Okay. Go ahead. Second. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, just a second. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, this side over here is going to be here. That's what I'm going to do. This is the individual that's going on. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Awesome. Trying to get this done, so we can just lay it on there, and then we. Stop it. Good. Yeah. Go ahead. Sure does help now that we've got the bead roller not flip flopping all over the place. Probably got that a little tight for you, but you can handle it. Just keep going. Slow up for a second. Yeah, go ahead. Second. Go ahead. Second, what it looks like. We got her done. Here's what it looks like. How you doing? Not too bad. How are you? Good. Now we have a door over here. Bring it with you. Which side am I? Nope, let's go on that side. Now we have something that sits flat. And we have our door. So we'll weld that all the way around. And that'll be the door, obviously, for what's going on. Do we have time to weld it on? What? I got, I, I, I can glue this on and 
in no time. Let's glue it on. side. Gorgeous. Right there. And there's a little clamp. We only want to weld it where it's tight.
Thanks, sweetheart. Funny how that moves away. Sort of on that a little bit. Didn't even realize that. Didn't plan for that one, did I? Huh? Nope, didn't plan for that one. It's okay. The harm no foul. Make it tighter, that's all. Now it's tight in the center, fairly tight in the center. Push in on it and I'm gonna weld it. Alrighty, one, tight and right, door. Can't make it stay there right this second, but maybe I could in the in the original spots it was. There she goes, right in the original spot. So, now what I have to do is I'll run around it with the groin, or run around with the welder, welder all up, and uh, that'll be the door. So it's gonna swing out this way. When it swings out this way, it'll go underneath that, because it's lower, hoping. <laughs> anyways, there's a door within the hour, uh, framed, bead rolled, 
skinned, and set back in place. Like, share, comment, come back. Thanks for coming back. We appreciate it. Subscribe, and have a great day.